Hey, family and friends, welcome to Can We Talk Tuesday. A really rough week, second week of TMS, and I've still been really depressed. And I don't know, is it working? I can't really tell you that yet because. I don't know. They say it takes a while, so I guess I'm in the category where it takes a while. One of the things that caused me to kind of go down to go down into a depression is my little disagreement with the HOA. Had my last session with my VA therapist. She is going to be gone for maternity leave and I probably won't see her again after that even if she I did have. really good and she was really easy to work with and I am going to definitely miss her. It's hard to find a good one. It took me seven years to find her <laughs> from my last one. So now that the therapist is gone, what am I gonna do? Well, I guess I'm going to get some projects done at the house yeah. I'm going through my transcranial magnetic stimulation. I am getting everything out of storage that I had originally put in there over a year ago. It saved me $60 a month, and right now I need to save everything I can. Uh, we leave the lights off as much as possible. I mean, I really am trying to get down to a workable amount for my finances, and it's been <laughs> difficult. The normal everyday bills that you have to pay once a month are just taking all the money plus groceries and gas. And then there's nothing left. There is nothing left for clothes. There's nothing left for extra food. There's nothing left for Christmas presents. There's nothing left to save. It just all goes bye-bye, like the first three days of the month. And then the last two weeks of the month, I'm scrounging pennies, whatever I can to get through gas and groceries. Cut off all the streaming, get everything out of storage. Uh, what else have I done? There are a few other things. Um, I'm buying the crappy processed food because it's cheaper. N up until the last three months, I was buying organic and trying to eat as good as possible. And that's no longer possible because that's all expensive. Anybody who eats organic or tries to eat healthy knows that that's that it's it costs more which is stupid because there's no reason for that and if we just all produced organic food we wouldn't even have to go through this and yes they all have the same nutrients but they don't have the same toxins and i don't want the toxins i want clean food so i am doing protein shakes i'm doing the orgain superfood shake and i'm letting my son eat the regular food that I cook and that is saving some money and my son just told me he doesn't want me to make lunches for him anymore because he doesn't really eat them and save a lot of money because he wasn't eating most of that food and I was throwing it out as soon as it, he got home. We're doing things, working on it and I did just find out because I am a 100% disabled vet they are not going to charge me for tax. So that's a blessing. And so that'll take off about $90 a month for my taxes and $90 less I have to pay for my mortgage. That is a huge plus. We won't see that savings until next year, but that's something to definitely look forward to. I have some ideas of talks that I wanna put up but you know takes organizing and editing and as it is all the things that i have on my phone my phone is too full and i need to buy more cloud storage which i cannot afford and i don't want that monthly payment so i have to make the video edit the video and then put it on youtube and then take it off my phone because i don't have any place to store it and uh until I can afford to get a better phone with more storage, that's just how it's gonna be. And I don't even know if I'm gonna keep doing this. I haven't, I mean, I don't have enough viewers to make any money and that's one of the things I'll talk about later on on a different Tuesday, but not this Tuesday. I was hoping it would be this Tuesday, but it's not gonna be, it's gonna be next Tuesday. <laughs> Maybe if I get that chance to do Some it. things, it's, Everything's taking time, but some things are looking up. 
I think the one last problem that I have to take care of is going to be my air conditioning because even though last month we had three, three separate companies come out and they filled it with R22 Freon, it was filled in February with R22 Freon and now it smells really I bad. I should have known better. I just had a feeling that they weren't being honest with me about the air conditioning when I asked, but you just got to trust people and we were in a bind and needed a place to live. It'll get sorted eventually, but hopefully before the warranty runs out, not after, because that will be very helpful. But that's an expense I'm not looking forward to. Ah, so home ownership. It's actually, believe it or not, cheaper initially than renting but when things go wrong like the air conditioning not so cheap that's the big downfall and there's nobody to take care of it there's no maintenance guy i'm the maintenance guy <laughs> and this guy don't know nothing about no air conditioning <laughs> it's mine now so i mean it's my problem now <laughs> okay that's enough boring you with the details, the minor details of my life. So this is how we do the laundry at my house the last two weeks of the month. Uh, I actually have a washer, but it doesn't work very well. Well, two and a half hours later, oh man, Ugh, they're still not dry. Two and a half hours and they're still not dry. This is my life. 